So there are a lot of serial killers out there, too many, unfortunately. What drew you to this one in particular? Well, let me correct you. Please do. Kuklinski is not a serial killer. The, no? de the definition of a serial killer is usually coming from a psychopath and about a person that has a methodic on his killing. It's usually a repetition or a certain pattern. Um, and also by killing those individuals, getting a certain satisfaction. Sometimes it's um, a sexual satisfaction, and sometimes it's just like a, a complete arousement of, 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 uh, of their own ego. Like they're getting so excited, you know, by creating somebody suffer and die. Kuklinski had nothing to do with that. He's actually a sociopath that every killing since he was a child, actually since he was 16, was done either to protect his own being or to protect his own family or basically having the ability as being a sociopath and not having the feelings of fear or consciousness and bring it into an ability to provide to a fantasy world that he created made him not being a serial killer. He's actually, he was a hitman that was a very, very, very professional in his ability to kill. Maybe if he was not abused, maybe if he was a little bit more educated, he was working for the CIA right now, and nobody will say, hey, all those CIA agents are serial killers. Well, you clearly have like, a very strong connection to this character. Right. Writing the movie, producing, directing, and defending him. And defending him. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that said, yeah. what is it about him in particular that appeals to you? Well, again, you know, the, the fascination about having a guy that can do all of the above that I just mentioned, uh, that having that duality of the darkness and the goodness, having that uh, Jekyll and Hyde as a personality without even un understanding that he is sick, without even understanding that he has an issue with himself, was, you know, was very fascinating for me, especially, you know, when we're living in a society that is like, you said suffocated with serial killers, I would say suffocated with sociopaths. You know, this is Hollywood, you know, people that are all about their appearance, they're all about their egos, they're all about themselves, that have no remorse about people, other people getting washed or killed or, you know. In fact, if some big, you know, famous person is dying, people say, well, more jobs to us. You know, we're going to do more money. We're going to have more fun. So, in the end of the day, it's, it's a metaphor. And I think Kuklinski, of course, representing the extreme version of that, I'm not suggesting anybody to have a fantasy of a perfect family world and go and kill, but I do suggest that here's a story about a guy that was the, had the ability to do that, and I think it's fascinating to see that in the end of the day, we can also relate to him as, an, as, as, as a character, uh, even that he does all those crazy things. And I hope that's what the movie is about. I mean, that by the end of it, you want him to do a correction. You want him to, do, to change. You want him to move on to a different world and not, and kind of like departing from that murder side and focus on the good. So, you know, that was my deep feelings towards why I did this movie. And, and defending Kuklinski. <laughs> and uh, you said, you know, even in Hollywood, people want to knock each other off. And you said, keep you interested with a good question. So if you could knock off anyone in Hollywood and have yeah. that career, have your career go in that direction, who would it be? I would knock off nobody. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I really don't have that feeling, you know. If I would take, needed to take the grudge mm -hmm. on every person that tried to either hurt my journey, not supporting my journey, trying to do something that was not exactly honest, or trying to take something away from you when you're trying to do something, I would be a miserable person right now. I would be such a, in pain and anger and, and, and frustration. So. I respect everybody. I really let them do whatever they gotta do. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do as a filmmaker. And as long as I can stay honest to the story that I can tell for the rest of my life, I'm happy. And if somebody else wanna take somebody, or if somebody else wanna hurt me, I really learn how to look at it and say like, well, I know it's not personal. I know that these guys has a whole different bundle of issues that if he chooses to take that negativity and throw it on me, you know, I'm just gonna turn my secret mirror and say like, choo. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. 
Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.